Okay, today I'm super excited doing a bike ride, urban bike ride, uh, around Stanley Park, False Creek, and starting here at the Vancouver Convention Center. Why? Because this is where the bike path starts. Uh, on this route, there's lots of bike paths in Vancouver, but this is what we're gonna explore today. Biking from the Vancouver Convention Center, hopefully all the way to Kitts Beach. Checking out Stanley Park, um, False Creek, and a whole bunch more. Okay, let's go. Okay, the light might not be perfect because it's uh, 8, 10 a.m. here in the December. Great thing about Vancouver, 365, you can go for a bike ride, maybe need a few layers. Um, sunrise was at 8.04, so it's a little dark, but I see on West Vancouver on the mountains near Cypress Bowl, where I ski sometimes, a little bit of an orange cast. So I'm hoping we get some good light today to showcase this awesome urban adventure bike riding from the Vancouver Convention Center which is behind me all the way to Kitts Beach is the goal and our first stop is Cole Harbor where I have they have all these fancy uh, boats moored there's a whole bunch of people out on their boats kayaking and the Weston Bayshore hotels here dog parks so we'll check out Cole Harbor our first stop on this cool adventure Okay, two minutes on a road bike from the convention center, now at Cole Harbor. And then after Cole Harbor, we're gonna cruise through Stanley Park. Let's go.
Okay, first short stop here at uh, HMC Discovery. And it says here, Metro Vancouver's Naval Reserve Division. And it's a very cool, it's like a little island here just off of uh, Stanley Park. One of the many cool stops going to make on this cool bike riding adventure. And if you saw in the background, the sun's coming up. That's pretty cool. Okay, continuing on now. Okay, little view of Vancouver. Right there is the Vancouver Convention Center where I started from this awesome bike ride. The sun is coming up and we're going to check out a few cool things here at Stanley Park. Okay, here's the Harry Winston Jerome statue and right behind that is the nine o'clock gun which we're gonna go check out in a second. Another look at Vancouver. Okay now I'm checking out the famous nine o'clock gun here in Vancouver. It's very loud. Once I, as a young kid, I've lived in BC my whole life, stood right near here um, to see how loud it was. It's very very loud. I don't suggest uh, standing anywhere near here. Warning, the gun fires with a very loud bang, 9 p.m. daily. It's been restored a little bit in this new cage around here, which is pretty darn cool. And pretty epic view. I've been coming to Stanley Park for 40 years. I first came here in grade six and went to the aquarium. It was incredible. Um, the aquarium has been renovated and new ownership recently, and it is still amazing. So I suggest you go check it out. Anyways, for people that have lived in BC for a long time, I wanted to showcase behind me here where we're supposed to bike ride now. This has changed a lot. And in the last few years, there was a dedicated bike lane with all these pylons on the road. Um, in the old days, it used to be the seawall down there, um, divided in half for pedestrians and bikers. Now it's a little bit of a mix, but I'm going to document it a little bit because I'm curious now. I haven't been here in many years to see where they want us to ride. Oh, there's the Canadian geese behind me making their usual noise. Let's see if we can catch them. Oh, there they go. Finding somewhere else to go find breakfast now that the sun is up. Okay, let's continue on the venture.
everyone This is baby daddy shit Such a dumb Okay, I just got to Kitsilino Beach on this epic biking adventure. Started at the Vancouver Convention Center, went on the seawall around Cole Harbor, Stanley Park seawall, False Creek seawall, ended up here at beautiful Kitsilino Beach. And you know, it's a cliche, but in Vancouver, pretty awesome city, it's December, 2023. People are swimming in the ocean, a quick dip, playing volleyball. I think you can see them or hear them behind me. Uh, sailing people are out sailing and look on the North Shore Mountains behind me Cypress uh, Grouse or Mount Seymour you can go skiing today because there's snow up there so anyways now I'm going to do a little less camera work um, a little bit of footage on the return ride back to the convention center but now it's 9 ish a.m. more people are out usually put away the camera when there are people out and I try to focus just on nature and adventure um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this and now we're gonna have a little look at the bike ride back to the Vancouver Convention Center. I might deviate through the West End or um, Denman or Davie. Not sure yet, but we're heading back to the Convention Center now to finish uh, this portion of the bike ride. Okay, another stop because there's so many cool things in Vancouver. This is the Gordon McMillan Observatory. Um, and as I said to a lot of people that watch this channel, I've lived in BC my whole life, very proud of this province. I'd love to showcase what you can do here. Decades and decades ago, I was sitting here uh, with some friends after hanging out on the beach late, 11 o'clock at midnight or something, and all of a sudden, this door this roof opens up and it's an observatory and ironically it was a night that they were letting the public in to look through the telescope and ironically I had a DSLR or 
camera with me and they let me attach it to the system and I took some pictures of some stars. Of course, we're downtown, um, so the visibility is not great here, they say, but what a cool place this is. So check it out if you're interested on that, if they still have public opportunities to come and uh, look at the stars from downtown Vancouver here at the Gordon McMillan Observatory. Okay, I'm on a day of adventure. I have no rush. Nothing to do today other than do a great video showcasing beautiful Vancouver. Since I'm right here on the False Creek seawall, why not go to the iconic, beautiful, amazing Granville Island for a little bit of uh, breakfast or lunch because I'm starving. I've been biking for two plus hours now. Got up at 6 a.m. to capture Vancouver before it got busy. So I'll go show you around Granville Island a bit. Granville Island is so cool. Got myself a little chocolate uh, croissant, cappuccino. That'll help for the uh, final ride back along the Falls Creek. Maybe Stanley Park or maybe the West End back to the convention center. Definitely got to check out Granville Island when in Vancouver as a tourist on vacation or a local. Come check it out.
Okay, that completes my four hour urban bike riding adventure from the Vancouver Convention Center all the way to Kitts Beach and back. Totally fun. Four hours, 35 kilometers, lots of stops along the way. So I highly suggest it. Go check it out. Seek your adventure today.